Hello everybody, Maven here, and let me explain to you what I've been doing over the past three days. So first of all, if you are new here, what I do here is I upload a bunch of crazy builds and weapon reviews because that's mostly what I do in Destiny 2 almost on a daily basis. I am a build crafter and I test tons of weapons all the time. It's, it's how I find my fun in this game. So because of Tuesday's patch, and you know how Bungie buffed hand cannons, scout rifles, pulse rifles, sidearms, and auto rifles, being the avid build crafter that I am, I spent the last three days taking every exotic primary from those buff categories and testing them out thoroughly to figure out if anything stood out to me. And it turns out there were two weapons that really stood out that previously felt pretty bad, but they have somehow risen all the way up to God tier. And one of those we're gonna review in a later video, but one we'll review today, and that is gonna be the Final Warning Exotic Strand Sidearm. So I did review this thing in a video like a month and a half ago when it first came out, and Strand was pretty new at the time. I don't even know if we had Strand fully figured out or even had all the fragments unlocked at the time, but now we do, and now we have Strand perfected. And this weapon now has a 20% damage buff, but it seriously doesn't feel like it. It feels like a 90% damage buff. This thing is shredding everything like it's nobody's business. Like, it makes all the other exotics look weak. And uh, I was using this thing in solo master lost sectors, and it seriously felt like patrol. It was borderline unfair. This thing is a cheat code. So yeah, we'll be reviewing it again in today's video, so stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy, and let's get to it. All right, so first of all, some of you guys might comment like, hey, did you try the Quicksilver Storm? Like if you're doing a strand build in today's video, did you try the Quicksilver Storm? It's insane. I know it's insane. It's good, but it's just not hitting as hard as the final warning. Trust me. The grenade launcher mode on the Quicksilver Storm is what it's good for. That portion of it hits hard. It hits like rockets. But the normal full auto mode just doesn't feel like it hits hard enough for like GM level content. It's fine, but it's not insane. So speaking of hitting hard as rockets, that brings us to our first damage comparison of the day. So first you need to know how the final warning works if you never used it before. So you hover your cursor over an enemy. It'll mark them red after like a second. You don't have to do anything fancy. Simply just moving your cursor over them, your reticle, will mark them. Now, when they are marked, you have two different options, hip firing or aiming down sights. Now, when you hip fire, you got aimbot. Your projectiles will track to them crazy hard around corners and over your Titan barricades and whatnot. And when you aim down sights, you get increased precision damage. And it is a lot. It's like double the damage of the normal burst. So with that in mind, we're going to compare it against a god roll hothead, the absolute god roll, field prep clown cartridge, impact casing with adept big ones. This is the weapon that every sweaty LFG group wants you to have. So testing out against Carl here, as you can see, it takes three rockets from the hothead to kill Carl. Now moving on to the final warning, we're going to suspend Carl just so that we can make it easy on ourselves to hit our crits. We're going to do the aim down sights mode to basically double our precision damage and we kill him in three bursts as well. Three rockets, three bursts, one burst from the sidearm is hitting as hard as a rocket. It is ridiculously strong. Now for the next damage comparison, we'll be testing against the Hawk Moon's Paracausal Shot. The last shot in the magazine doing massive damage against a trash mob here, we do 286K. Now moving on to the final warning, our crits damage is 24.3K, but it is a 10 round burst. So you multiply that by 10, it's 243,000 damage. So it's only 43K less than the Hawk Moon, but with the Hawk Moon, you have to jump through hoops to get that shot. You have to hit all of your crits and it can only be the last round of the magazine. It takes a lot of work. With the final warning, this is just your normal burst. You don't have to do anything special. It's just the base damage. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, well, Maven, why don't you test the final warning against actual meta exotics that people actually use? So we're gonna do that. We got the Osseo Striga here, as you know, it's the most meta primary in the game right now. And then the Outbreak Perfected, always been a trustworthy primary to use ever since it came out. So for this, we'll be going to a master loss sector and see how these do in master level content against a couple trash mobs. Now, starting out with the Outbreak Perfected, unfortunately, one of these ads has an overshield. Sometimes they can have one, sometimes they don't. But 
anyways it's a nice clean four burst on the one with the overshield it is a five burst really quick and easy now moving on to the osteostriga i try to pace my shots so i can try to kill both of these ads in one magazine and i barely managed to do it at the very tip of the mag and finally the final warning unfortunately one ad has an overshield again but the final warning do not care it's gonna kill both of these ads in just one burst which is only half the magazine it's ridiculous and now another thing you might be thinking is that the Outbreak Perfected creates Steven Anites, the Osteostriga creates Poison, they're good for ad clear. What does the final warning have that's good for ad clear? Well, I'm glad that you asked because if you read it in further detail, hitting a marked target with a fully charged burst will unravel them. And for those that don't know what unraveling does, when they take additional damage, they will create those little unraveling seekers that jump all over the room and damage other enemies. And that's good in multiple ways. So in a way, it kind of acts like Osteostriga as well. Now, normally the only way to do that is to actually get unraveling rounds on your gun. So you can either use Threat of Propagation, you gotta get a powered melee final blow, or this season specifically, you have the allied unraveling, so you get like a strand weapon triple kill. And you'll get unraveling rounds that is normally the only way you can unravel with other strand weapons like the quicksilver storm or like the rufus is fury or whatever strand weapon you're using but with the final warning it is literally intrinsic on the gun all you have to do is just fire it and you unravel everything spread those seekers and another reason why that is very very good is because of thread of generation dealing damage generates grenade energy and it's not based on the amount of damage that you deal it's based on the number of tick damage like across the room so spreading those little unraveling seekers pinging every single enemy in the area is going to generate so much grenade energy further contributing to your build allowing you to shackle grenade more things it's just amazing and also not to mention that when you kill an unraveled enemy they unwind into a tangle so literally this thing just generates free tangles always and another cool thing about that and correct me if i'm wrong but i believe this is the only weapon in the game that doesn't require you to be on a strand subclass to be able to create unraveling seekers I definitely misvalued this weapon when it first came out. I thought it was average at best. You could even hear it in the previous review I did of it when it first came out. I said near the end of the video, I said something like, after this video is over, I'm probably going to use Quicksilver Storm personally. But now my mind has changed and this is definitely going to be a staple of my strand builds now as for my other weapon choices here i just threw on a blinding gl for the heck of it you can use whatever you want but sometimes there's like groups of like four or more ads all shooting you at once and so you can just slow them down so you can charge your final warning and then i have on a hot head just for some boss damage and that's about it you can really use whatever it doesn't matter i even use like a linear sometimes and as for the build breakdown it's an abeyant leap infinite suspend infinite woven mail build and and I actually uh, broke down this build in the last video I did, the Cloud Strike video. I highly recommend checking out that video if you want to see me break down this build. I'll link it in the little card in the top right corner of the screen. And uh, so I'll just go over it quickly here in brief detail. So here are my aspects and fragments. And the only difference in mod setup from uh, this video to the last one is that I have on strand siphon and strand loader because, you know, you're often reloading your sidearm. And uh, I took off the reserves and the scavenger for arc so that is the only difference remember check out that video if you want to see it in further detail now in the background gameplay you're probably seeing some grandmaster footage i took it in there and absolutely tore some things up with it i think it's actually like physically impossible for any red bar in the game to survive a burst from this sidearm even most orange bars in the game will die in one burst in like grandmaster content and as always i will leave a dim link to the loadout down below in the description if you'd like to give this build a try i highly recommend pulling this weapon out of collections infusing it and giving it a go because it will 100% exceed your expectations. If you're an Osteostriga lover, you will no doubt be a final warning lover. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment because interacting with the video in different types of ways like that really helps it out and helps the algorithm. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Would love to have you here. With that, I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.